does it all come down to this? This spiky blob that has been burned into the retina of all of us? Alyssa Eckert, medical illustrator at the Center for Disease Control, said she was asked to create something that would grab the public's attention. So on January 21st, 2020, using the master's tools, in this case, Autodesk 3DS Max and the Protein Data Bank, Ms. Eckert started carefully arranging the virus's parts, testing different colors, textures, and lighting. Several color schemes were explored, but red on gray with orange and yellow accents was the most arresting and also most effectively matched the branding of the other COVID-19 media materials. And voila, the beauty spot was achieved. A detailed solo close-up, a manufactured representation of arbitrary aesthetics, visualizing what can't be seen by the human eye. Although it might slightly shift in color or detail, the spiky blob basically remains the same and somehow looks eerily familiar. Bright and fuzzy with unforgettable spikes, it sometimes recalls an animation on a children's show. Or to an older crowd, an Esther Williams synchronized swimming routine. Or a psychedelic acne commercial? An anthropomorphized porn channel? Sometimes it has a bad 80s aesthetic. Or that architectural parametric design thing. Communist hipster clip art? Viral frenemy? No matter what, it's become all-encompassing. So what really is this, when it's actually this? In a time of uncertainty and incredible public anxiety, what does it mean to put a face to the unknowable? What does it mean to model nature on culture? In other words, in the creation of a beauty spot, does nature become artificial as culture becomes natural? <laughs>